And here's the uh, install of this antenna right there. It's the BR78 by Browning. Had a hard time getting a match. Had a hard time getting a match on any antenna in this Ford Transit van. Uh, this one here was my um, Wilson 5000. I could not get a match with that thing. So finally, um, I built an impedance match. This is uh, the impedance match that I built. Um, wound up being uh, 0.172 micro henrys. Uh, I first built a variable impedance coil. Tapped until I found the point where I could get my SWR down to acceptable ranges. It was before this, it was um, 2.5 and up. <laughs> could never get below 2.5 and that was way down the band. Um, for 11 meters So I know I built this coil and when I found out where the best match was I got it down to 1.3 With this at 50 ohms And it covers a wide portion of the band that I want and so then I made this permanent coil which was uh, Just about three turns on about three-quarter inch uh, number 14 gauge solid copper wire and then just goes to the center of that uh, so uh, pl259 and the other side goes to the outside and then i put this t in line and screw that on and that does the trick that brings it right down i just i had to adjust my whip um up a little bit on the antenna to get it where i wanted it so um but other than that it works great so signals come in good no tuner needed I can operate all day long, so that's uh, that's my match here in this uh, Ford Transit van. This is a full-size van here, one of the full-size vans. So we're running a uh, FT891 with it, and that's how we have it set up. So it's one of those uh, through the roof holes for like a ladder rack, basically. You can see the, the dome mount that I used. The antenna. So if you have troubles getting your antenna matched, this is an easy way to get it to tune in right there. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask. <laughs>